guys. Don't mind me, I'm exhausted right now. I was just moving a couch with my dad and it was horrible. So I'm still like sweating a little bit. <sighs> I need to go to the gym today too. Jesus. I mean, that basically was my gym, but I need to go to the gym again. Because I can't go the next two days. Anyways, okay. So I'm finally doing a Q&A video for you guys today. I saw a comment like literally today. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but... Someone just asked me, hey, do you know when you're going to do your q and I was like, oh, yeah, that was supposed to happen, wasn't it? My bad. And that was like a month ago that I put this po post up, but it's only have 15 comments. I don't expect my, you know, I don't really expect this to be that long, to be honest. Like, I'll try to make it at least 10 minutes, but it's only 15 questions, and some of them are pretty simple to answer, I'm pretty sure, so... Yeah, this shouldn't be that long to be honest, but we will get started, so starting. So, here was my, let's do comment by comment, only 15 comments, so again, nothing too crazy. Do you think one day you'll start a live so we can talk to you? Again, I think I replied to that, no I did not reply to that directly. So in terms of going live, I've gone live a couple times, the only thing is, I literally have no reason to go live, like my life is so boring that there's no reason to go live. And honestly, when I go live, like, one or two people watch, even though I have, like, 5,000 5, subs and no one really watches my lives. Obviously, it depends on how busy people are and the time of day I go live, but there's, like, no reason for me to go live, to be honest. Like, I'm not gonna go live at the gym, I'm not gonna go live at home, because I don't do anything, and I don't... I just go to work. I'm not gonna go live at work, either. So, like, the thing is, with going live, like, I could just do, like, a random 20-minute video every week or two weeks, like, random live, and see who joins. I can try to plan some, if you guys like really are in favor of it, let me know in the comments obviously down below about lives, but I could, it's just like also the time and even like YouTube videos, like I've been struggling to get these two videos out a day. I've literally been up until 6, 7, 8 in the morning just to get videos out for noon the next day. So just so you guys know, I'm like being up all night doing like videos and stuff like that and going to the gym and you know, like last night I, I, I did a Jarman video and then right after that I went to the gym and it was like 2 in the morning when I got there, I left around 3 in the morning came home, did videos, eight, went to bed at like seven, 7 a.m. and then I was up at like 12 and I didn't sleep a lot at all. I, I'm really poor on sleep right now so tonight I gotta go to bed decently early so I can get sleep for tomorrow, my 12 hour shift. Anyways, that's off the topic. But about lives, I could, I just I guess how many are in favor of it and how long and what we talk about, I literally have no idea. The only thing I could really imagine me going live of is doing a Q&A live, but that's basically it because there's nothing else for me to do. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know, but in terms of going live, probably not, but I definitely could if you guys want me to. I'm wondering about how are you going to catch up with Darman because you have a lot of catching up to do since some were posted one, two months ago, and some of them this month. So as of right now, I don't know exactly how many Darman videos I'm behind on, but it is quite a few. I did count the other day, and I'm, and I'm trying to upload one at least one day, like one at least a day. And obviously Mondays and Thursdays I upload Darman anyway, so I try doing two videos on, on those days, so that should obviously catch me up. If I continue with this routine, that's nine videos a week. And I believe Diamond uploads four videos a week, or five. So either way, every week I'm catching up on four to five videos. Even with them uploading additional. Like last Star movie was uploaded three days ago, right? And that was the Teens Find Out Bullied Kids of Boxing Legend. I watched that one. I don't know when that's going to be up, but I did watch that one. It was a great video. Um, but my reaction will be out, I think, soon if it's not already out at, at this time. But I will count how many I'm behind on, and I will let you guys know. So this one I'm gonna to do today, but I'm still I'm, I'm still gonna count because I haven't done it yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four. So forty-four videos I'm currently behind on. But I'm pretty sure before I was like 55 to 60, so now I'm behind 44. So I'm still behind by a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of videos I'm actually that I'm behind on. But that's basically why I um because before I basically did only Darman. And because I'm trying I did the new schedule a couple months ago, I started that. That's why I wanted to do that. So I, it, it would be a variety because you guys don't just find Darman. Some of you guys like SML horror, things like that. And then of course your suggestions. So I don't know if I'll continue doing this until I'm caught up on Darman. I'm still behind on 44 and it's still, he obviously uploads more and more. So it's like, it's hard for me to catch up, but I'll, I'll definitely try to. It's, it's definitely going to be a work in progress, but I'll, I'll get to them. 
I, I responded to this actually. I'll keep watching them, but I don't want to catch up fully. Probably won't even come close. Law only if Dark Souls stops up uploading. But that was before I started doing daily Jarman videos along with my normal videos that I do. So if I if I can keep that up, which I'm struggling to, and again, I'm being up all night basically doing that. So it's been a struggle. What type of Jarman videos do you enjoy the most? Good question. The, the, the ones that get me angry get me pissed off and angry and you guys seem to like that one the most and you guys like my swearing and everything which is not good but you guys like my swearing which is okay I guess um, I'm pretty sure I started this right I just want to make sure thank you so yeah like in terms of what I like the most I emotional videos I guess like I like to be invested if it's too boring like if it's like like the one yesterday the one boxing video I don't really do boxing but the actor was really good the story was really good the, the the brother was like helping his, his younger brother and mom and it was like really really sweet so it was like a really sweet emotional kind of video I do kind of like the love stories even though I hate love movies I love these d d uh, Darmian love stories I love them it just makes me sad because I know it's never going to happen for me so it is a bit depressing but it is what it is but most of them I enjoy like um, the ones that can like foster care mother abuses child I'm like fuck this is going to make me this is going to be a good video because it'll piss me off and hence you guys will like it but Knowing that it happens in real life, obviously, it's not good either, right? Because you know that obviously that stuff happens in real life too, so it's like, fuck, it's not good. So that being said, eh, I like a variety. Sad, happy, tearful, like I cry sometimes. I've went literally bawled out in that one video. The dad, dad, dad favors one son over the other. I remember bre breaking down in that video. And since you guys say I'm, I'm obsessed with mango juice, I'm gonna drink some mango juice right now. Since you guys think I'm obsessed with it. That was my first time having, I was like sweating buckets earlier with the whole couch thing and it's not even fully set up yet either. Next, what are some of your favorite movies? I honestly haven't watched a movie in a long time. I barely watch movies. If you guys want to know what I do on a daily routine, I'm not going to go into specifics obviously, but um, it, it depends. Like today I was off. Today, if I wasn't doing uh, the whole couch thing, I would have slept in because I went to bed at like 7 a.m. because of the whole YouTube thing and you and gym and just my life. And tomorrow I literally have to work out, like, I have to get up at, like, 4 or 45 in the morning, and today I went to bed at 7 a.m., so it's going to be a whole, a total turn, turn around in terms of time. But in terms of favorite movies, yeah, like, I don't really know. Sorry, I was going to do my daily routine. What the fuck am I doing? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I wake up, I either just lie in bed for a bit, play Plants vs. Zombies, that's what I've been doing recently. Gym, eating, talking to friends, YouTube videos playing maybe some games on my laptop, like a bus simulator game, it's kind of lame, I know, but I, I played like a truck simulator game, I played like a police simulator game, a, tr a truck simulator game, so I played some games, I'm not really much of a gamer, but if you ask me when I was like 14, 15, I played GTA a lot, and that was really fun, and I'm, and, and I'm pretty sure GTA 6 is going to come out in 2026, so I'm definitely, or 2025 or something, so I'm definitely going to be playing GTA 6 when it comes out, I don't know on what system, because I don't have a PS4, I have a PS3 that... I don't even know if it'll be released for PS3. I hope it is, but that's kind of like an outdated system, so... I don't have a PS4 because I don't game. There's no need for it. I have a Nintendo Switch. Don't use it. I have the two iPads. Don't use them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just don't use anything. So, yeah, my favorite, favorite movies, though. Horror movies. I do like horror movies. Um, I, I like Don't Breathe. I like Hush. I like... Um, I can't think of them off the top of my head. Unhinged is a good one. I haven't seen some of the horror classics, which is kind of weird, because if you're a horror fan, you should know the horror classics. But I guess I'm a fake horror fan. So honestly, I can't really answer this question, like, straight up, because I really don't know my favorite movies. So... Just horror movies. And, I, and, and again, I would say Unhinged, and, um... I like Christmas Vacation, Home Alone is like a, good, a really good Christmas movie, but honestly, I don't watch movies a lot. Like, I like answering your questions, but I'm a very boring person, I feel like, so like when I answer these questions, I feel so boring, because I barely say anything to them. Okay, next question. What pisses you off the most? So, in terms of what exactly? Like, Darman videos? Again, like, Foster Mom abuses kid, or when, when the girls are all so stupid and bitchy. You know how some girls, and, and guys, not only girls, but you know how some girls are like, I'm in a Gucci bag. Like, fuck you, bro. You don't even know Gucci bag. Go work for yourself. Oh, by the way, I forgot I was wearing this. Darman fam. I wore this to the, to the gym last night. Probably gonna gonna wear it tonight, today too. Oh, I, got, I gotta do laundry too. Oh, fuck me, man. I feel so fucking busy, bro. D d d uh, don't become adults. Just don't become adults, bro. If you guys are just saying, I'm gonna grow up. So you better stop that attitude right now, I'm just saying. You are going to regret it once you turn 18. 
or 20. So yeah, what pisses you off most? I mean, I guess that's like a pet peeve. I don't know what my pet peeve is. I hate when people like stand in front of, like stand on the stairs just talking and yapping. I do that sometimes too. But I try to like stay out, out the way when someone's in the middle of the fucking staircase and you're trying to get up. It's like, move, bitch, get out the way. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get up the damn stairs or get down the damn stairs. Get out my fucking way. Or cars driving slow. Get the fuck out of my way. I literally like turn, like turn my signal on, swerve, not swerve, like speed into the other lane, speed by, change lanes, and I'm like, fucking bitch. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a road rager or anything, but. Like, I don't road rage to them. I'm just like, you fucker, go, man. Like, I'm just like, because either I'm running late for work or I'm running late for something. And <sighs> So, yeah, a lot of things piss me off, but I'm pretty sure you guys can guess it during my videos and tomorrow's t t teachings. Stupid videos. But I've watched those videos, too, and, they're, and they get me angry, too. But the most, I really don't know. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. I have always loved blue. I want, I want a blue car. You're probably wondering why the fuck is your room pink? <laughs> that, that, that's a damn good question. Uh, this was my sister's room. This curtain used to be filled with like a bunch of dudes because my sister was like obsessed with like a bunch of the celebrity dudes. I mean, I'm into dudes too, but like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, blue, blue is my favorite color. Always has been, always will be. I love blue. It's so fucking good. Blue is actually like my security, um, like at work. My signature is, is, is in blue. I make other emails I send, they're blue. My blue uh, blue's my favorite color. Always has been. Who do you think is dumber, Je uh, Jeffy or Junior? Honestly, both are pretty stupid, to be honest. Junior has some stupid-ass ideas. Jeffy's pretty stupid, too, though. I mean, honestly, Junior. Junior has stupid ideas. I don't know if Jeffy's, like, dumber. I, again, I've watched a bunch of SMO, but I don't know exactly, like, to... You know? I don't know exactly what I would say in terms of who's dumber, but both are pretty fairly stupid. In my reactions, of course, I kind of tell you guys, like, yeah, Junior's so dumb, and Junior's dumb ideas and just things like that right i don't really know um so yeah i'm sorry that was not a good question that, that was not that good of an answer but hey damien i i'm starting my first ever movie commentary channel what is some advice oh lord i don't think you should be asking advice from me because i literally have like i'm sorry i'm not trying to be like rude or anything but i literally have like nothing going for me views down watch time down subs down everything's down probably probably revenue Everything's down, bro. I have 5,526 subs, which is decent. I've gained, like, probably 10 in, like, maybe 10 days, which is actually decent, because before that, I was at a standstill at, like, 5514, and then it kept going down. 5512, 5513, 5514. Oh, back, back, back down again. And I'm like, well, I know that it'll fluctuate, but because, like, if you have, like, a million, it'll always be fluctuating, because that's a million people. But 5,526... It doesn't fluc it doesn't fluctuate. It might stay it might stay like that until freaking November. Who knows? I, I hope not. I, I hope it keeps going up, but at this rate, pff, never gonna hit hundred K like, like my goal. Anyways, my first ever movie commentary was some advice. When I started reactions, I'd be yourself. I just kinda be myself and obviously you guys like my swearing, which is obviously me, but that's obviously not good either, because it's not a good look on me. Like Damien's always saying bitch, cunt, and you know, saying always bad words and kids are watching and that's not good, so I'm not a good, I'm not a good YouTuber, <laughs> but like I'm, I'm looking through my channel videos right now and like, you know, obviously make good thumbnails. I'm trying to keep up my thumbnails as best as I can. So definitely thumbnails are a big thing, but movie commentary, again, I comment on Darman. So like whatever you, whatever, like whatever your true, true thoughts are, just kind of go off that be honest, be yourself. If you don't know something, just say you don't know something. Like for me, I'm like, I don't know what this is. I'm stupid. So don't mind me. Right. And just, and be yourself is all I can really say. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. I don't know if that's the best advice, but I'm assuming it is, because, you know, be you is what, is, is what Armin always says, and that's that's definitely a pretty good thing. Just be yourself. Don't act like somebody else. Don't act like someone that you're not. Act the way that you want to act. To act you. Act like you, and then you're good to go. You know, as long as people... Well, people like you if you're being authentic, if you're being you, right? I'm trying to be me. And that's why when I said fudging beach, that's when someone commented saying, this is not the Damien I know, and I was like, that's not good. Why did I start swearing in my videos? And now everyone wants me to swear. That's not good. Anyways, that's all I got to say about that. Just be yourself and keep trying ne and never give up. That's the thing. Never give up. Because for me, I've wanted to give up many times. I'm like, why am I, like, why am I even doing this? Why am I staying up till 7 a.m. so someone can watch my videos on noon? No one cares about my videos. In three hours, I got 40 views on this one and 41 views on the other one. That's 81 views combined in three hours on two videos. Uh, that's embarrassing, in my opinion. Or the day before, I got 61 views and then 73. I don't know math, so 73 and 61, 73 plus 61, 
That's 134 views in literally over a day. Like 27 hours, two videos, 134 views. Of course, I can't compare myself to bigger YouTubers, but some people got like a million views in a day. So for me to get like 100 in a day, it's just for two videos, it's just kind of embarrassing, you know what I mean? But don't give up. <laughs> you know, I'm basically put myself down. You know, don't give up. Just be yourself and don't and don't give up because that's the hardest part is continuing. Just like the gym for me, it's hard as fuck to continue. Just do it, bro. You got you got to keep going. You got to keep fighting for it. You got to keep doing it. If you give up, you're obviously never gonna know where you end up where you ended up at. And this isn't just for YouTube, guys. It just goes for anything. If you want to be a cop, be a cop. Keep keep fighting. Keep training. Keep being in school. Keep keep at it. Right. Just keep it going. What did you major in college? If you had all the money in the world, what would be your dream career? Fave TV shows. So we had three questions here. So what did you major in college? I graduated in 2022, and I gra I graduated from a security pro uh, program, and now I work at my college as security. So that's what I've been doing for the past four years now. So that's that. <laughs> if you had all the money in the world, what would be your dream career? I still like being in security, t to be honest with you guys, as long as it's good paying. But obviously, if I have all the money in the world, it's like, you don't want to just be home alone doing nothing. Like, of course, you want to have a sense of purpose. You want to go to work. You want to do something. But it, I probably would have worked less. So I could go to the gym more and obviously try to, you know, stay fit or get fit because I'm not fair at all. But so get fit first and stay fit. Um, but dream career, I really don't know. If I was rich, like I, I don't know. I would still like to be in investigation sort of thing because I do like those videos and I do like watching police activity. I do like watching Law, Law Crime and Network. That's a good re uh, channel with true crime do uh, documentaries and things like that and um, you know so that's all I really got for that but if I had all the money in the world I definitely would imagine myself helping people because I do want to help people um, I do feel bad like I was at work the other day and then someone started crying not to me but to my coworker, and then I was like oh I feel bad you know um, of course I can't go into specifics about what, about what it was but that's what you're going to get right that's what happens people get you know emotional and stuff happens and one thing can trigger you and then you can ball your eyes out right like that's why you know, I don't know guys, I'm just, I don't know. But I would like to imagine myself helping people. Sorry, I was reading a message now and, and I was about to say, say, say sorry because I was reading a message where someone said sorry. So I was about to say sorry. Sorry guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's all, all, all I really got about that. I don't really know what a dream career would be for me, but I like being in security and I like being in investigation sort of thing. So that's all I got. Favorite TV shows? I like Family Guy. I, I, I haven't watched that in like a while. I like Raven's Home. haven't watched it in a while. I like That's the Raven, haven't watched it in a while. I like basically like a bunch of Disney shows like Good Luck Charlie, That's So Raven, Hannah Montana. I liked I like I like Disney shows. I liked Riverdale. I watched Stranger Things. Stranger Things is a really good show. I honestly don't watch TV shows or movies anymore. Like I really don't. I again, like I told you in, in a daily routine, today if I wasn't doing what I just did about the whole couch thing, I would have been been in bed, relaxing, probably on some dating apps surfing through Instagram reels, whatever, seeing if people answer my reels, I don't know, message my friends that I don't have, uh, <laughs> go to the gym, uh, do some laundry maybe, like for today because it's Sunday, and uh, yeah, just basic things like that, that's that's basically my day routine, I don't really watch any TV, t TV shows or movies, I watch YouTube more so, that's basically all I watch in terms of watching, I watch YouTube, but I do have Disney Plus, so I do like throw on a TV show here and there, and I have been watching Fulton Reacts, or just Fulton, on my channel, like on YouTube. And his reactions are honestly great and funny too, so I've watched his reactions a lot recently. Even like going to bed, I watched something, and I've been playing his reactions when I go to bed. So, uh, uh, Fulton's a G. Ful uh, Fulton's a great guy. Kind of cute too. Anyways, I'd say that. Three questions left. Damien, can you speak French? Because I'm living in Canada, just like you, and I'm curious to know if you can speak French. Bonjour, au revoir, comment ça va is basically all, all I know. That's hello, how are you, goodbye. That's basically all I know. I am trying to learn sp sp Spanish though. If you're wondering why I'm trying to learn Spanish, it's kind of a weird thing to say, but I don't know. Like I like Spanish people a lot and I feel bad because like, sometimes they're like, really fluent in Spanish and not English. And I'm like, well, if I knew Spanish too, then... Plus learning languages is also kind of cool too. So I, I have Duolingo, I'm learning Spanish. I have a 175 day streak. I've had to use a bunch of straight phrases because I don't do it every, every day. But I, I try to learn Spanish as much as I can today. I, I try doing a lesson a day and um, it's hard.
but I'm trying, it's hard. I know a couple things, like I can kind of kind of read Spanish, I'm getting better at reading it, but some words I'm just like, what the fuck is that? But basic things like, um, uh, I'm trying to say, how was your weekend? Quantos? No, how many? I don't even know what I'm, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm already found you guys. Que paso, I think, I think that means what happened. That's all I know right now. Hola, adios, gracias. Uh, tu tienes un carro? I, th I think that means like you have a car, do you have a car? I don't know, anyways. I'm trying to learn Spanish and it's going decently, I guess. Along with that, work, gym and everything, it's just, and YouTube, it's fucking exhausting. Next question, what's your top five favorite animated horror channels? I was gonna say Mr. Nightmare, he's not animated. Top five, I don't even know if I watch five, bro. I don't even know if I watch five. I'm, I'm gonna have to look this up because I really don't even know. I like Thriller Teller, that's for damn sure. She's a, she's a good one. Mort. Mort is also a good animated horror. I, I, I haven't watched a bunch of him either. Llama Arts is also great. So for now, Llama Arts, Mort, Thriller Teller, D uh, Dark and Twisted was really good. And I, for some reason, can't think of anything else. Oh, Wednesday Entertainment, or Wansy Entertainment. Those are my top, top five. So Wansy, Mort, Llama Arts, Thriller Teller, and the other one I said, I, I don't remember it already. But those five, I would say, are my favorite. I was just trying, trying to think of five, to be honest with you guys. But my favorite channel for horror has always been Mr. Nightmare. And um, Wansy Entertainment is really good, too. And uh, like short horror, horror, horror films are honestly really good as well. What's your pet peeve? This is very similar to what pisses you off the most. So I don't really know what my pet peeve is. But again, I would say like driving too slow. Um, uh... When people not not listening to me when I'm giving them orders or directions and and then they're not listening to me people talking over me when I'm talking I tend to do that sometimes too but I'm like oh sorry for kind of, uh, cutting you off you know because I don't mean to it's just I feel like I have something to say and then I say it right away I don't just control myself I just blah, blah, blah. it's like bitch shut the fuck up I don't want to talk to you I just talk way too much but <clears throat> yeah there's a lot of pet peeves I have I feel like talking with your mouth open I judge you sometimes um, I gotta eat after this video as well I'm freaking hungry bro. But yeah, that's basically what I would say. People driving too slow, people not listening to me when, me when I'm asking them something, people cutting me off when I'm talking. Like, I'm, I'll be legit in the middle of a sentence and then someone just starts talking just to, about somebody different to somebody else. And I'm like, excuse me, bitch? Like, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Um, I'm not I'm not going to say where exactly because you're probably thinking, well, if you're just friends, it's, it, it's not like that. It's, it's like work-related, but I'm not going to get into that, of course. But I will talk to you guys later. That's basically all the questions I have. That's why I wanted to wait for more and more that I could get, but I didn't get that many. 20 minute video, 23 minute video, not, not that bad. But yeah, um, hopefully I answered your questions. If you guys have a bunch more questions for some reason, another like 15, 20, I'll do another Q&A part two. I'm pretty sure I did a Q&A like years ago. God, no views, so that's exciting. I, I know I did a Q&A video before. Let me just see exactly when it was uploaded. Q and A. I did one one year ago. It was released July 6, 2023. 247 views. Not that bad. The fuck kind of Q and A is this? This is seven years ago. Don't just don't, uh, don't even watch this one. It's so stunning. Why the fuck it's even st uh, still up? It has 61 views total. Funny ish Q and A. Literally just full of Nutella. Jesus Christ! I'm so stupid, bro. Zero dollars, zero watch time, and two views in the last 28 days. That's fantastic. Q&A, because I'm a loser, seven years ago. Q&A, part two, with Funky Girl, nine years ago. Jesus Christ. These are so embarrassing, bro. I just don't even understand. Oh, this one was removed. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next video. If you guys have any more questions, like I said, please let me know. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. And again, if I didn't answer your questions, maybe comment down below. You didn't answer this question or whatever. If I missed it, then I'll reply to you guys just in the chat, or in the comments. But I think I did a decent job here explaining. I made it longer than I thought it was going to, so. Th thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Peace.